Then the main event was Cody and Brock Lesnar, and they had the crowd because the crowd loved Cody and they loved Brock Lesnar. And so, uh, depending Typical on Brock Lesnar, just all big moves. Yep, it was a it was a block all, was a block all suplexes match. and all of Cody's big moves, just one spot after another for about ten minutes. And well, Cody hit a huge dive before the match. They got to do some stuff outside with chairs and that sort of thing because the match hadn't started yet. And then Cody he gets him in the ring. They ring the bell. He hits two disaster kicks, goes for the third, and Brock just catches him. He Germans him. Crowd starts chanting for Suplex City, so he just suplexes Cody. German, 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 hard suplex, throws him around. A lot of suplex city chance. And finally, he beats on this poor dude for so long that, he, that Cody starts getting a let's go Cody chant. They just want to see this poor guy live. And so finally, uh, there's a turnbuckle that gets exposed. And uh, Cody gives Brock a drop toe hold. And Brock just, he headbutts this exposed buckle and he is immediately just spraying blood everywhere. And if you watch, if you were there at WrestleMania, it was like, you know, Finn got busted open, and they stopped a fucking cage match. And this crowd's ready to riot because they've stopped a cage match to take care of a guy who's bleeding. And uh, that did not happen in this match. And I, I presume the referee was afraid to try to tell Brock, hey, we're going to stop this match and, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. So yeah, he we're, just. We're going we're gonna to fly with Brock. No, nah, they let it go. And uh, they kept going. And Brock's bleeding all over. And Cody's like wiping Brock's blood all over his body. And uh, finally, he hits a crossroads or he goes for it. Brock grabs him, hits the F5. Cody kicks out. Brock starts to put him in the Kimura. And Cody ends up countering it into a cradle for the flash pin. Beats Lesnar. Gets his ass out of the ring, and the place is going crazy, and Brock's covered in blood, and everybody's cheering, and uh, finally the ref, like, it's funny because before they went to the finish, they're showing some replay, and they come back, and the referee's like, he's kind of over by the ropes, and he's he's sheepishly got a towel, and, uh, you know, he kind of looks at Brock, and then he just puts the towel down, because he's like, I ain't giving this guy this towel in the middle of this match, because he's going to kill me. But after the match, he threw the title, and Brock wipes all his blood off his face. He's got this huge gash right here. So, uh, it, you know, it's Puerto Rico. They were ready for some blood, and yeah. uh, they got it here in the main event. And it was a real good match by the end. It wasn't like a long match. It was every Brock match you've ever seen. But the blood and the heat and everything, I mean, it made it a pretty, uh, pretty memorable spectacle there for a WWE main event. So, overall, good show. Real good show. Real good show. show. Great crowd. Um, I mean, if 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 the crowd wasn't so great, honestly, I would think that the the bad the bad bunny match and the uh, opener, I mean, they would have been great matches on any show. Um, but you know, I mean, like you know, I mean, I mean, a, a lot of the big pops were, were Puerto Rico based, but um, you know, really like the three way and the Zelina Vega. The Zelina Vega match actually is one that that would not have been good anywhere else, just based on what they did. But it was good because it was good enough because of the crowd. And um, but yeah, I think a lot of the stuff, a lot of the matches would have been fine in another city, but but nothing special. You know, I mean, a lot of it was the was the crowd. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Do Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure 4 Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.